Hi everybody, we're here today with a birth announcement video for our litter of mini Labradoodle puppies. Hi, I'm Claire from Van Nuys Labradoodles and today we are going to introduce you to the brand new puppies that have just arrived from Hazel's High Hopes litter. So these puppies are all Labradoodle puppies and they are all going to be large minis to small mediums. Hazel herself is a mini, but she was bred to Tatlow and he's a, just bordering uh, between a large mini and a small medium. And these puppies are for the most part quite a good size. They are all healthy little chunkers here. We have one small puppy, uh, but she is doing quite nicely and and holding her own. So today what we're going to do is introduce you to each of the puppies. If Hazel's all right with it, we'll pick them up and show them to you. Uh, if not, we'll just point them out for you uh, one by one. And we'll give you the information about their birth and their birth weights, a little bit about their colors and patterns. And then we'll go on to our regular litter update schedule from this point on. So this litter started being born on July 26th. Actually, Hazel started on July 25th and took until the 26th to actually deliver. It was a long pre-labor process for this uh, litter to arrive. And the firstborn puppy, uh, Mr. Red Collar, is the biggest puppy in the litter. And uh, he was quite a job for Miss Hazel to push out there. So it took her quite a long time and a lot of work but once her contractions began and labor began in earnest then she was able to pop them out without too much trouble and then after he was born everyone else was just a breeze for her this is hazel's third litter so she's quite an experienced mom she knew what to do what to expect and wasn't fussed up about it at all she's a great mom she's very caring very attentive to her puppies she's eating well and uh, just doing everything exactly as we would like her to be doing You'll see that she's panting and breathing quite heavily right now. And that's because we have the temperature very warm in here for the newborns. So right now we have it at about 24, 25 degrees Celsius. And the humidity is a bit high in here as well. So it's very warm for Hazel and it's warm for us humans too. But because the babies can't control their temperature, that's why they're at that uh, degree of warmth so that they are kept warm and cozy and safe. So the puppies uh, were actually started arriving on July 26th and Hazel was very, very good to us. She waited till we had finished our dinner to start having the puppies. So uh, it was in essence a daytime delivery for us, which is always great. So as I said, the firstborn puppy was Mr. Red Collar Boy. And we're just going to find him here. He's just nursing. And so we'll just... Uh, extricate him from there and somebody will no doubt take his spot but he won't have a problem finding another spot again here we go buddy so you can see that this is a very good sized puppy for a puppy who was just born two days ago he is a chunky big fellow and he has this beautiful beautiful milk chocolate color their brown is tinged with a touch of gold, almost a caramel shade on top, which just gives them the most beautiful shade of brown. And he has an adorable little white goatee under his chin there. And Mr. Red Collar Boy, or Miss Red Collar Boy, I'm sorry, she, Red Collar is a girl. Are you a girl? I think you are a boy. No, she is a girl. My mistake. Sorry. She's a girl. Miss Red Collar Girl. You're so big. We thought you were a boy, didn't we? She was born at 295 grams. That is a big puppy when you are a mini mama. Right? You were a big, big girl for your mommy. She nurses very well. She has no problem finding her way around at the milk bar. I'm just going to put her at the back here so she can easily find a, a new spot. There you go, miss. All right, and the second born puppy is dark blue collar. And this is the boy. Come on, sweetie. 
Oh, and he's going to be mad because he just got that nice spot at the milk bar there. Hi. And again, Mr. Dark Blue color is this beautiful milky chocolate color with some of those beautiful golden highlights that you can see. I don't believe that he, oh yes, he has a little smidge of white on his chest there. Very, very handsome puppy doing well. And already I can tell that we're after we do this video, we're going to have to loosen their ID collars. That's how much they're growing so quickly. Dark blue collar boy is 240 grams at birth. And we'll just put him right back where he was so he can get right back to his really prime seat here at the milk bar. There you go. It's okay, Hazel. Thanks. Next is our little pink collar girl. And Pink Collar Girl is the lightest out of all of the puppies. And she looks like a mini-me version of her dad, Tatlow. This little sweetheart is a milk chocolate tuxedo. And by tuxedo, she has the white bib, white under her chin, up her face, over her head, around the back on her collar, and then up all four of her feet. And she also has an adorable little white tip on her tail. She's a really, really interesting color, very, very beautiful. So Tatlow's dad is Trip, and Trip is a dilute chocolate. And we can see some of that dilution already appearing on this pretty little girl's coat here. She's a very pretty little sweetheart, very girly, and she too is gonna to need to have her collar loosened. Miss Pink Collar, collar Girl, uh, so I forgot to tell you their times. The Miss Red Collar Girl was born at 11 minutes past 7 p.m. Dark Blue arrived at 7.18 and Pink here arrived at 7.41 p.m. There you go, sweetheart. I'll just put you right down there and let you find your own way, yes. Next was Purple Collar Girl. So we have all girls, just one boy in this litter. Purple Collar Girl is again a little bit of that darker milky chocolate still has those highlights on there but she's more of what i would call a mahogany shade hey that what you are she has a tiny little smidge of white under her chin and then a little drop of white on her chest there and her tail is solid it doesn't have the little white tip at the end and Purple Collar, Collar Girl was born at 7.54 p.m. and she was 210 grams. This is much more the sort of typical size we see with a, a mini mom, a little bit smaller. And then the next puppy that was born is the last puppy in the litter and that's our little teensy girl. This is Miss Yellow Collar. Miss Yellow Collar is very small. She is Super petite, as you can see, she fits right in my hand. And you can see she's a little bit thinner than the others. Now, we are dealing with living beings here and little tiny lives are very fragile. Of course, we do absolutely everything to support them and provide them with the best possible care. Uh, but uh, we will be monitoring this girl very closely just because she is very small. So we help her with her nursing. We come in and we make sure that she is able to get a spot at the milk bar and that she isn't pushed out by her sisters and her brother. And so to make sure that she is getting her fair share. We also weigh her throughout the day to make sure that she's not losing any weight. And if she happens to be struggling and losing weight or not gaining as we feel she should be, then what we'll do is we will supplement her with some nutritional supplements um, as well as perhaps feeding her a bit on, independently if we need to. A Miss Yellow Collar Girl was born at 20 past 8 and she was just 176 grams when she was born. So you can see there's quite a big difference between her at 176 grams and Red Collar Girl at 295 grams. And just as a comparison, this is Red Collar Girl, our biggest girl, who does not fit into my hand, and Yellow is our smallest girl. So there is quite a big difference there, and there is also a difference in vitality when you have a larger, sturdier dog, of course. They're a little bit more able to cope with all of the rigors of the real world. So we'll monitor this little one carefully and hope for the best for her. So that is our High Hopes litter from Hazel and Tatlow. 
and as I said, Hazel's just doing great. I mean, she really likes to come out for short little visits so she can get out of the heat, um, but otherwise she's doing really well and has lots of energy. She's not skinny at all. She's a really good, healthy weight still, and uh, she's enjoying being a mom. She's gonna show you her tummy there just in case you didn't get a good view of it. Sometimes she'll do this just to get a break from the kids nursing and uh, just to make herself a little bit cooler by turning upside down. So those are the Labradoodle puppies from the High Hopes litter and uh, we will be doing our regular one week update in coming up shortly when the puppies are a week old but in the meantime everybody's had a chance to be introduced now. So if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to ask away in the comments below the video here. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. And we hope you're subscribed to our channel and that you watch all of our litter updates and uh, follow along with our educational portion of our program. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Let me 